Hello everyone, we will continue the topic Webdyne Pro ABAP and as a part of Webdyne Pro ABAP, now we will start with component usage and as a part of component usage, we will go for three topics. What are those three topics? We will go for OVS, we will go for ALV and then we will go for select options. So firstly, we will understand the meaning of component usage. Word itself is saying, we will use the existing Webdyne Pro components. We will reuse the existing Webdyne Pro components. SAP has already developed those components. Depends upon the requirement, we will use those components. At the starting itself, I told, yes, we can reuse a Webden Pro component into our own Webden Pro component. And SAP already developed those Webden Pro component. And based upon the requirement, we will use those Webden Pro component. Suppose for OVS, SAP already provided a Webden Pro component. Whenever I want to develop OVS, in my Webden Pro component, I will simply, simply use this Webden Pro component. Whenever I want to create ALV, I will simply, simply use this Webden Pro component. Whenever I want to create select option, I will simply, simply use this Webden Pro component. You can see the name is not starting with Z or Y. It means all these Webden Pro components are given by the SAP itself. Suppose if I will go to SC80 transaction code and we will see these Webden Pro components. If I will go to SC80 transaction code, I will simply put the Webden Pro component, which is for OVS. From the drop down, you can choose Webden Pro component slash interfaces. I'm passing the name of this component, WDR underscore OVS. This is a Webden Pro component, which SAP has already provided and depends upon the requirement. Whenever I will create OVS, I will simply, simply use this Webden Pro component. Suppose if whenever I want to create ALB, I will simply use this Webden Pro component. If I will go for this, you can see this is a Webden Pro component for the ALV which SAP provided. If I will go for select options, this is the Webden Pro component for the select options. And whenever I will go for OVS, ALV and this select option, I will use these Webden Pro components. So firstly, we will start with OVS. Now, what is OVS? Before I will go for OVS, this is again extremely important topic. If I will say after inbound and outbound plugs, this is again the one of the most important topics in Webden Pro APAP. So what is OVS? OVS stands for Object Value Selector. And what is the purpose of OVS? The purpose of OVS is to assign the search help. But OVS stands for Object Value Selector and the purpose of OVS is to assign a search help. Now the first question comes into everyone's mind. We already have a search help. We will use those search help into Webden Pro component. Why, why we are going for OVS? And that is one of the extremely important question from the interview perspective also. Why you are going for OVS if you already have the search help? The difference between search help and OVS is search help is dedicated for one field only. The search help is for one field for to which it is bound. Whereas with the help of OVS, we can populate multiple fields based upon one field of the screen. I will simply go for the system 
I will show you and you will automatically understand. And because of this one of the most important benefit in Web10 Pro ABAP, yes, if customer is saying, customer want these kinds of thing, we will prefer OVS rather than search help. Suppose search help is dedicated for one field. Suppose if I will go for the program, this is the program. Whenever I will click here, you all know this is search help or this is F4 help. This search help is dedicated for which particular field order number. Suppose if I am choosing the order number, if I am selecting some order number, suppose I will choose some order number, suppose I am selecting the order number. So this search help is for this particular order number only. It has no relation with the payment mode. We cannot populate the payment mode based upon this order number. Suppose if I will go for OVS, now I will run OVS. Anyways, we will develop this. Now I will run this Web10 Pro application in which we have the OVS. Suppose now I'm going for help of sales order number. See, I'm going for help of sales order number. I'm going for OK. Suppose I'm selecting this. Whenever I will select this, suppose I'm selecting a record. You can see the values populated to sales organization also, distribution channel also, division also. Because with the help of OVS, you can populate the multiple fields based upon one field. And this is one of the most important benefit of object value selector. Search help is dedicated for only one field to which it is bound. But with the help of OVS, you can populate multiple fields. And many times customer ask these kind of requirement. I will only pass one value, just populate the other field value whenever I will select. So this is one of the most important benefit of object value selector. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we started with a new topic and our new topic is component usage. So firstly, what is the meaning of component usage? word itself is saying you will use the web then pro components you will use the already developed components and depends upon the requirement we will use those web then pro components and as a part of that we will go for three topics first one obvious second one alv and third one select option whenever i will go for obvious I will simply use this Web10 Pro component. Whenever I will go for ALV, I will use this Web10 Pro component. Whenever I will go for select option, I will use this Web10 Pro component. And in SC80, I showed you these all components are given by SAP because name is not starting with Z or Y. Now, after that, we started with OVS. What OVS stands for? Object value selector. Full form itself is saying you are selecting the values. The purpose of OVS is to go for search help. The purpose of OVS is to assign a search help. Now the question comes into everyone mind. Why, why you are going for OVS? If you already have a search help, you can simply use the search help in the Web10 Pro component. Yes. We can use search help, but many times customer ask for populating the multiple fields depends upon one field of the screen. At that time, search help will not suffice the purpose. You need to go for object value selector OVS. And that is one of the most important difference between OVS and search help. It does not mean that that in Web10 Pro component, we can only only go for OVS. No, we can go for search help also. Whenever the topic will proceed, I will show you, yes, that we have search help also. But yes, if you want to populate multiple fields based upon one field of the screen, 
at that time you need to go for obvious because search help is dedicated for one input field only now in the next video we will simply simply understand the model and phases of obvious then we will start with the practical part of obvious so that's it in this video thank you